this is it. This is the final turnaround day of the contract. I cannot believe the day is here. We have five days left until sign off and I fly back to Buffalo. I kind of have no words because in one way it feels like we've been here forever and in another way it feels like we just got here. The, the time always goes by so fast and this has been my home for the past seven and a half months. So I don't think it's going to set in for me until we actually close the show and that's on day three. Since it's our last turnaround day, we have the day in Miami and I am actually not on Muster 2.0. I had my final shift last turnaround day so I have the morning off to myself and there's a new cafe that just recently opened up in Miami and they are so kindly hosting me and having me come for brunch so I am really looking forward to that. So Graham and I are about to get off the ship and we are going to see what that's all about but the food looks amazing, coffee looks great, and I'm so excited. But yeah, day one, final cruise. This is wild. Good morning. Who's ready for brunch? I didn't eat. Usually I eat. I did have a first breakfast. <laughs> was exceptional. I'm so full. I could not finish the smoothie and I didn't finish the hash browns, but Graham did eat those. So we didn't waste any food here, but it was such a great experience. Owner was super nice. They've only been open for three weeks. So it was, it was pretty popping for only being open for three weeks. I don't think I need to eat until tomorrow. That's how full I feel. <laughs> We're gonna walk and digest a little bit on the boardwalk and then all aboard is at two o'clock. That was the perfect last turnaround day in Miami. Such a good time, so nice to have another little brunch date with Graham. The food was incredible. If you're ever in Miami, definitely recommend going there and tell them I sent you because I just had the best time. Good vibes, good music, great food, coffee was exceptional, and all around incredible experience. I have nothing but good things to say. Now I'm back on board. I have changed into uniform. I don't have muster, but I do want to work one hour of Wi-Fi just so I can have have a couple minutes if I want to call home this cruise or if I want to you know watch YouTube while I'm packing or something like that so I've got one last shift just from two to three and then after that it'll be time to get ready for shows <laughs>
make this literally every single show day and honestly for the past couple weeks i've been eating it every day it never gets old like it is so so delicious and so simple but i like what i like anyways i'm not really hungry but i knew that if i don't eat now i will be ravenous during the second show so here we are mm. so freaking good warm-up was great the groin is feeling really good like i did not feel any sort of tightness or pain or soreness whatsoever so that's very exciting and yeah kind of hard to believe that this is our second to last show day that's studio b sure kind of right after all Show, show food. The exhaustion I feel right now is ridiculous. I don't understand why. Maybe it's just the adrenaline of knowing the end is really, really close. So I'm excited, but also trying to soak in the show as much as possible. But it's not quite the finish line. Like day three, I'm gonna just have endless amounts of energy. So today I feel really tired, but shows went great. The first crowd was really good. Second crowd was decent, but I had great shows. And I can't believe we've got two left. everyone it is day two i feel like a chicken running around with its head chopped off i have so much that i want to get done today but we also have a very busy schedule so i need to make use of the morning time i have to get a lot of done i've just made a fresh batch of coffee in the french press so hopefully this gives me a little bit of added motivation i've got all skates at 12 40 until 3 straight from there i'm going to be working with the cast and we're going to teach them the parade choreography after that i agreed to help susie and marta learn some of the wonder opening steps because that is their next contract so i'm going to be teaching them some of the dance bits which is really fun but that is straight after parade rehearsals and then this evening i am dressing the production shows for one last time i want to tackle this locker because as you can see it is stuffed Things are just kind of thrown in there. This happens every contract and every so often I reorganize it, but I don't want to leave this till day five. So I want to take care of this. I also want to try and pack a little bit more of my clothes. I need black smart casual. And then I literally only need like two options for if I go off import. I also need to do laundry, but I don't know if that's a task that's going to get done today or if I'm going to have to push it off to day four. As per my to-do list, I have a lot that I need to get done. I 
been out of my head. Can't get out of bed. Lunch today is incredibly basic. I just made a Greek yogurt parfait. I've been so busy in the cabin. I kind of ran out of time to make it to the mess before all skate, so I'm just gonna quickly eat this and then I will have to run to Studio B. Last all skate session of the contract. since I've done that show and I love it just as much as I did when I was performing it. So when they asked me to teach them some of the choreo, I had to take them up on the offer. So I taught them Ico, Dynamite, and Mambo Rap. Not all of Mambo Rap, but some of it. So at least I'll have like somewhat of an understanding of what's going on when they get there, which is honestly like doesn't hurt because there's so much information. And now I need to get back to this cabin. I also have to make a birthday card for Valentina because it's her birthday tomorrow and I'm the designated card creator and I have not started that yet gonna be a busy rest of the evening. I've got about an hour and a half until I have to be at the theater for my first dressing. Last night I had my final dressing. This morning, bravo, bravo, bravo. My final drill of the contract. And tonight is closing shows. Days are just flying by, and I feel like I have so much to do before we sign off the ship, and there's just not enough time in the day. Today we are in Jamaica, so I think that I'm going to get off the ship after drill and grab one last patty at the patty port, and then aside from that, I'm just going to get myself organized to sign off and also for warm-up and shows. The bittersweet moment is getting more real. Definitely gonna feel like sign off once we close the show one last time. We've got a busy, fun, exciting day ahead. And I slept horribly last night. <laughs> so I'm feeling tired, but we're gonna have a great day. We've decided to show our appreciation to all your hard work. and not a single person waiting in line. This is ideal. Uh, chicken patty, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. 
The last one. We haven't had one in a while. You guys have been here so much, you understand it. So. I know the prices. <laughs> This might give me a stomach ache later, but right now it tastes very good. Ah! Water! Our last drill was actually faster than usual. We finished around quarter to 11, and then we had this mandatory all crew meeting, which was honestly useless for us because we're signing off in two days and it's all about future things coming up. We went to that, we got off, had our patty, now we're back and we're gonna head to the mess and get a little bit more to eat because then I'm gonna have to start getting ready for closing night which is just crazy. Also picked up my postcard, almost forgot to get this but on our way back I stopped and grabbed one. The options were very slim, it was slim pickings. They were quite funny actually, this is the best one I could find. And I did this rafting on my Allure contract many, many moons ago. The water is so blue here. Oh, goodness. It's time to get ready. One last time for one more show day. Honestly, don't know how to put into words how I feel. I <laughs> have been exhausted all day. I did not sleep well last night. I have a little bit of a headache. I think I drank too much coffee yesterday and not enough water. So I did take a little bit of a cat nap just now when we got back from lunch. I closed my eyes for probably like 30-ish minutes. So nothing too bad. I really am not a napper. I don't like to nap and I usually feel more exhausted when I wake up, but that was my last resort. And I do think it helped. And I've just jumped in the shower and had a cold, cold shower to wake up my body. So I'm feeling more alive. Really, really excited about tonight's shows. But as I've said a handful of times, it hasn't fully processed for me that like this is our final cruise. And I'm really sad to be saying goodbye to this show. We've been here a long time, so I'm really looking forward to my vacation and some home time and some exciting work opportunities but I love performing this show so much that it's gonna be hard to take that last final bow and realize that I'm not gonna be doing it again so yeah I'm gonna get ready and from here on out I think time is just going to go very very fast it's just such a weird feeling if you work on ships you understand like the last cruise you kind of don't register that it's the last one and especially if you're a performer you know exactly what i mean when i say it's closing night like opening night is an entirely different energy because you've been in install you've been rehearsing really hard and you're just ready to open the show and perform for a full audience but closing night is super bittersweet and just kind of surreal we're gonna do the makeup i'm gonna try and say as calm as usual and just soak in every last moment Explorer contract. Crazy! As I said before, I don't know where I am today. Like, it's not, I'm just, it's just another day, you know? show down one to go 
and then and then we're closed. Cast 28 over and out. Now it's starting to hit me that this is this is it. So I need to refill my water. Definitely need to hydrate a lot today because we're sweating so much in the show and we're gonna do a little champagne toast afterwards. So I wanna be nice and hydrated. Um, then it's time for notes once again. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Uh, <laughs> it says like you and I have to vote together. Uh, after we finished so that Susie could start washing them because the new cast has costume fittings today. So everything needed to get done by like I think later this afternoon. Um, so we organized that. We had a toast with the cruise director, all the stage staff, 
the new cast, old cast, installer. So yeah, it was a it was a really fun evening. We ended up back deck for a little bit as well. It was a really fun closing night. I'm gonna miss performing this show so much. Um, and the energy of the final show, it was unmatched. It was so much fun to have so many friends supporting us and cheering. It was a full house. That it was just an incredible energy. So definitely won't forget that closing night. Yeah, I'm really sad to say goodbye to this show, but exciting things ahead. So, you know, one door closes and another one opens. We are pulling into Labadee and it is a stunning day. I'm in Studio B backstage. I have to organize all of my costumes so that the new cast can get fitted into them. So we washed everything last night, but the pieces are kind of all over the place. So I've got to grab all of my costumes and put them together. Costumes should be sorted. I'm gonna go back to Studio B a little bit later just to double check everything. But I'm pretty sure I've put everything either into my basket or hung it up in show order all together. So it should be good. There's just so many pieces to this show. Now we have our sign-off meeting at 10. So I'm gonna head there now. I've just cracked open a Celsius. I don't have any coffee left and they don't have almond milk at the crew bar back deck. So this is, this is the energy for today. Cheers. <clears throat> I also feel like I'm losing my voice. Don't know what that's about. Especially miss this, but they do have pesto pasta today, which is quite delightful. So I'll take it. Are you seeing my hair right now? This is not. <laughs> this is not a look. I just took it out of the braid, but we're gonna have to just ignore it. We ended up staying on board today. We're in Labadee, and I thought about maybe getting off for a little while, but we ended up having a lot of fun with pickleball. So we played for about an hour and a half. We're getting on the Flow Rider soon, so we decided to just stay on board to eat instead of having to like rush and run back. So I've got a little bit of time before we have to head back up. I'm gonna let my food digest and I want to resume packing. So I think I'm just gonna really go for it and pack pretty much everything in my closet aside from what I need for tomorrow and for sign off.
I've just had the best shower. I needed to get the chlorine off of me immediately. Flowrider went so well. I made such big improvements this session. Like the last time I was able to go on was the last day on board Voyager, but that was like a year and a half ago. It's been a while, but I was able to stand on my own for quite a while and started getting comfortable actually like moving back and forth, forward and backwards. Callum's a really good coach. I am biased, but he genuinely is. I learned a lot and it was really fun. Graham also did it for the first time ever. So yeah, I'm so happy we did that. We've had a very good day. Like it's been a very action packed day, lots of activities. And now I need to get back to working on the room. The tech run is at five o'clock for the new cast and I do plan to go watch. So I'm gonna try to just bang out as much of this room as I can. I'll head there like probably 10 minutes before. <laughs> dinner tonight I've got my protein oats with banana we just watched your thing of your oat ear closing I didn't realize it was everyone was closing. Yeah, your whole people are. You get you got all emotional, did you? Yeah, it was. You and your folks? It was a little sad. All right. I'll see you in a couple days. I'll see you in okay, a couple days. Say hi to Callum. Okay. I will. Love you. Bye. Okay. okay. Right, bye, bye. 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 We've made it. It's the final day on board. Kind of a little bit in disbelief, but more so stressed. Last night was extremely stressful. I was, you know, packing up the luggage. I very quickly learned that all the stuff I'm bringing home is extremely heavy. I have a lot of hair care products that I don't want to throw out because they're pretty much brand new and they're worth a lot of money. So to just literally get rid of them, just I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to bring home a lot of products with me. And I also have like quite a few hair tools. I've got a, a blow dryer. I've got a blowout brush. I've got a curler. I've got, what else do I have? I don't know. I just have a lot of things and my suitcases are definitely going to be overweight. So it's a matter of trying to sort out if I can make one overweight and one 50 pounds or if I'm just going to have to, you know, accept defeat and pay the overweight fee and hopefully get reimbursed by the company. Either way, we're going to figure it out. I look terrible. But we will, we'll fix the appearance later. I want to go grab a coffee, have some breakfast, and get started with our day because it's going to fly by. Today is crepe day in the mess, so I got a plain crepe and I added Nutella and banana. It doesn't look very appealing, but it's gonna taste delicious. Back from lunch, the crepe was delicious. Was it my most healthy choice? No, but it's the last day of the contract, so 
I figured I could treat myself. And I still haven't made it to the gym. I don't know if I will, to be honest with you, because I do want to go, but I also have some work that I need to do on my laptop. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my laptop to Studio B. We're going to get some natural lighting and I'm going to try and work on a couple things. That's the plan. And then we have parade at 5 p.m. So I have a little bit of time to try and bang out as much as possible. If you were wondering, this is what the room looks like. Obviously, there's still some stuff on top. Those things are mostly Callum's and he's been at work, but you can see the walls are bare. Taken everything down aside from my schedule. There's a few odds and ends left, but we're doing pretty well. Guess what Valentina brought me? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Still working on the little cast memories video, um, but there's so much footage to sort through. Who's ready for the last parade? Am I going to miss this more than Spirits of the Seasons? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't rate the lens. Some hot. Places! 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 And dessert. Supper. What are we eating today? I don't know, but I'd say that she's pretty sexy. Oh. <laughs> Not healthy. What is that? I have no idea. Potato patty. This is my plate. Damn and Kaloom. We've made it. Last duty of the contract. Check. We finished our final farewell. Production cast was super cute and they had little papers that said by ice cast. That's what it spelled out. And it was super sweet. Nice little surprise. But but the night is not quite over. We have bloopers at 10.30. And before that, I want to drop my luggage. I'm going to just double check everything one last time. We're going to drop it off. We're going to go to SOB. And then maybe we'll have, you know, like one little nightcap at that deck to say goodbye to everyone. Because we're not going to see everyone in the morning. Still doesn't feel entirely real, but... It takes me a while to process things, like I'm gonna realize it once we are at the airport or like maybe even when I'm on my first flight. Oh my goodness. I don't even wanna know how much they weigh. So we're just putting them on the trolley and calling it. <laughs> 